Maestro Dio Copelli. Did you see him back here? Yes. Today we are finally... I mean, I drove for seven hours here. I had to come here to shot this video. This is a video that you're probably not gonna find on internet. Today we are here at the Fiamme Pizza in Tucson, Arizona. Like you can see this name right here. Scott, maybe you don't see it better. Let's check it out. Scott Volpe. Yes, Scott Volpe is the number one pizza free, pizza yolo freestyle in the world. Yes, I'm not saying anything. Uh, I'm not lying or anything else. These are all the uh, all the titles that he got. Number one, number one, number two, number one in the world. So as of right now, here in 2020, he is still the number one pizza, a pizzaiolo freestyle in the world. So I'm really excited to shoot this video because today he's going to show us how to make the freestyle dough. Sì, amici miei, oggi siamo qua nel campione mondiale di pizza freestyle, ci farà vedere come fa la sua impasto e qualche trucco che a voi forse vi piacerà. Andiamo a conoscere Scott. Let's go meet Scott Volpe, the world champion pizzaiolo freestyle. guys from my studio Copelli here we have uh, the number one pizza champions in the world Scott Volpe Scott I saw all of these things today we're gonna make some dough today together Scott what are we gonna do? We're gonna give you guys uh, my dough recipe for freestyle dough champion dough champion recipe number one the best pizza dough freestyle you can find on the internet show us your art Easy and fast. Well, it's not that fast, right? It's fast to make this dough? Uh, pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Let's see what is he doing. Let's see what is he doing. Our freestyle dough, that's what we need. Two liters of water, cold. Four kilos and 200 grams of flour, high gluten. Very important, high gluten. 20 grams of uh, olive oil. 120 grams of uh, salt. That's it, very simple, let's go make it. Okay, water first. We're gonna make the small ones put together, so it's gonna be about 24 dough balls. So I put the flour in there slowly like this, it doesn't get too dry when it's mixing. And it's gonna catch all the flour slowly. So now we mix it for about 15-20 uh, minutes. So now they add uh, the rest of the flour, little by little. Oil. Now the olive oil. No yeast, so it's not gonna rise. So. Yeah, no yeast. This is a Scott Volpe recipe. Right, Scott, how did you mention this? Uh, a lot of competition. I watch how, I look how the other people's dough is. Uh, I make the dough with a lot of other people. Uh, I learned from from Jamie Colton, Jay Sherman on good dough recipe, and then I, I create my own. You know I mean? Fantastic. That means that he loves what he does. So he's saying that it's really important to put the flour little by little because if you're going to put it all together, it's not going to work out. So you put the flour little by little, and then you'll see that the dough will be ready when all the flour is integrated with. Uh, the mix okay like you can see the dough is nicely all together so that means that now is ready so let's take it out that's good perfect <laughs> Okay, so now we are ready to make the balls. 200 grams each. 200 grams each ball. How do you make the balls? Show, show us. So this is different, different than the Neapolitan dough. You want to make it a nice circle. 
nice close circle. You let it rest and you close again. Okay? The best thing. So this is how you make the balls? Like this. See that push him. So you push the inside and you create a ball basically. And then, and then you close it right away. You close it really good. Close really good. So you let it rest and then you close. The more nice circle it is, the easier it's gonna be when you make it stretch. When you stretch it. Oh okay, so the the more you make good the dough balls, the better comes out the pizza. So it's really important this step. Yeah. So this dough, this dough, it doesn't grow. So you can put it all together, just like the like Scott is doing right now. And then the best way what Scott suggests is to put a little plastic wrap. You make it wet a little bit on the top. Okay. So now he's putting a little bit of water on top of the dough. This way it doesn't get dry. And then. He puts a little plastic wrap on top just to make sure they don't dry out. And then right away, let's put it in the fridge for... Uh, now it's ready. I'm going to put it in the fridge and it will be ready after about, for me, about six hours. Four to six hours it's ready to go. So, right away in the fridge, right? Right away in the fridge, yes. Okay, after four hours, ready. The dough. Now we're gonna go stretch it. Now when we stretch, so now we're gonna put the two dough together to make one freestyle dough. So put together, show, show. It's gonna take a few minutes to get the dough open, but you wanna make sure you stretch nice and even. Or it's not gonna be a nice dough ball. So two for freestyle, two together. Need a rolling pin for sure because it's very tight the dough. And when you're stretching, you want to not use a lot of flour because then maybe it's gonna dry the dough out too much. So when I do it, I start with the rolling pin on the outside, on the outside, and I don't touch the middle too many so that there's a lot of dough in the center. And then at the end, we're gonna use that dough to make it nice and big. So you see the dough is really tight. It doesn't wanna, it doesn't wanna break. You can, you can fly the dough a very long time without, without break. Very important that you don't stretch the same, correct? In the beginning, yes. That way it doesn't become too thin in the center and then it's gonna break faster if you, if you make too thin in the center. So after a few minutes we get them all about 12. So make sure you make the pizza about 12, 13 inches before you fly the pizza. And this if you one start too small, it's not gonna it's not gonna open up of very course. much. So. so it takes a little bit to a little bit to work out. Oh for sure. So if you start with the dough eight or ten inches, maybe it's not gonna it's not gonna grow any bigger. So you put it all together, why? Oh uh, what I'm doing by myself. It's, uh, it's a little quicker if you put you smash on top of each other. If you're doing a competition, then probably you're gonna have some other pizza friend, pizza competitor. They're gonna help you do the dough much faster. Um, so but when I'm by myself, sometimes I I smash together. That way I can stretch more dough at one time. And then once once you get it to about ten about ten inches, then you can do it with the hands, and it's then it's ready. So see, I don't, I don't cross the pin on the center too much, you know, only at the end. So now I'll just take a little, start to do it with the hands, and now I gotta touch the middle to make it nice and big. I don't know this dough only for freestyle. We're not gonna we're not gonna eat the dough. But 
<laughs> so see, it's almost ready. I'm gonna do this way with the hands. And it's ready now. So there, right here is about 12 inches. It's very tight, stretch. And now it's ready to go. I think Vito should just stick to making pizzas and uh, well, I can, say, I can tell the champion. dough is really good. I can tell that the dough is really good. It's, it's not breaking. It's, it's yeah. Tight. It's good. Huh? But I'm too old for this. Yeah, it doesn't break. Oh my God! My Scott, this is your, this is your stuff right there. Okay, Scott is about to show us. make some uh, it's still uh, still really strong the dough <laughs> wow guys thank you so much for watching guys and please come to Tucson to Fiamme Pizza check it out check it out on Instagram right here and please thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much Scott thank you and for I'll coming Vito I'll see you at the next of course the best deserve to be noticed yes <laughs>